So before we get into worship tonight, I thought I would share a little bit of my story and how worship has sort of changed for me over the years. Uh, when our family first started attending Christ Church, uh, now almost 10 years ago, uh, I would say that we were kind of consumers, you know? We would show up, we would come to worship, we would listen to Reverend Shane, we would, we would do the stuff, but really we were self-focused, or at least I was self-focused when we were coming to church. It was, what could I get out of my prayer? Or what would God do for me, you know, through the sermon? Or what did I need to work out? It was very self-focused. Basically, my whole experience with church was about me. Now, I'm not judging anybody. I think many of us, or most of us, probably start in that spot, but we definitely can't stay there. So over time, you know, things changed. I went from kind of self-focused with my experience here at church, kind of that consumer of church, to then being a participant. I got involved in safety and security team, started making a bunch of friends, and wanted to then serve and wanted to help others have that great experience. And, and this is truly, this is the next step, and it's amazing. I was thankful to be a very, very small part of a huge army of people that helped to make this worship experience special, both here in person and online. Like, it's so huge. That participant part of it, where you can just be welcoming somebody. You can be helping them find the coffee cafe or simply just be that smiling face is so huge. You're an active part of that worship experience. So being a participant would be a next step. If you're not already a participant, jump in, get involved. But there's a little more to it, right? Being a participant means we're also being evangelistic. We're not self-focused anymore. We're others-focused. So think about how you can be others-focused. And that's great. Be evangelistic. Be a disciple-maker. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we're being worshipers. Being worshipers is a little bit different. Being worshipers means our focus isn't on ourselves. And it also means our focus isn't on others. Being a worshiper means our focus is on God. And so as we started to learn, or as I started to learn what worship really meant, I started taking a look at how can I focus more on God instead of all of the distractions. And what was sort of frustrating over time, I don't know if you guys are like this, um, I noticed I was most distracted during worship. Not during Reverend Shane's teaching, not while I was out in Scripture Hall or anything like that, but it was during worship that I had the hardest time focusing on God. I was worried about what other people would think about me while I was worshiping. I was worried what other people were doing or things like that. I was just not focused on God. I didn't understand it. So you guys know this, but... Worship is not just about coming to church and singing some songs. That is not what worship is. Worship is an act of love. It's an action of the heart. So why do you love God? What is it about God that makes you want to worship him? What has God done in your life that no one else has ever been able to do? Worship is the time to tell them. What has God done for you? What has God done through your family? What has God rescued you from that no one else even knows about? Worship is the time to tell them. So get honest. Share what you're really feeling. Cry out to him if you need to. But most of all, praise God, because that's what worship is about. As I kind of hinted at earlier, worship is when we focus on God. Worship is not the time to think about what you need to do when you leave here and you go home tonight. Worship is not the time to think about what work needs to be done tomorrow morning or what you want to do this coming weekend. That is not the time for worship. So strip away all the distractions. Take them all away. Put them all away for tonight. They're still going to be here in an hour and 15 minutes or so when you leave this building. So there's no point. There's no help in thinking it through tonight. Take them out. When you think about worship, right? 
Think about Revelations. You know, in Revelation, I think it's chapter 4, we talk about or we see these 24 elders sitting in heaven and they're worshiping God for all of eternity. For all of eternity. They're just focusing on worshiping God. We can give God an hour of our time. We can give God our best worship for one night. That's it. Don't have to worry about what's coming up this weekend just for one night. We're not guaranteed this weekend anyway. And if we're giving God our full attention for just one night, what do you think that would look like? If you're not worried about what other people think, if you're not worried about what you'll look like in worship and all that, I'm guilty of this. I'm 100% guilty of this, right? Reverend Shane talks about this often. He talks about the people who worship with their arms out like this. They look like funnels of the Holy Spirit. I am not that guy, okay? I will say that right out. I am not that guy, not at all. You know what worship, true worship for me looks like? It's standing with my eyes closed and my head bowed, my hands in my pockets singing. That's when I'm in my deepest worship. So what does worship look like for you? When you totally focus on God. If you're a hands-up person, then raise your hands. If you want to stand up or kneel or throw your face to the ground, worship that way. Eyes open, eyes closed, it doesn't matter. But worship God. You know, we think about uh, King David. King David was a worshiper. He was a straight-up worshiper of God. He totally focused on his relationship with him. He was such a worshiper that he drew the ire of his wife for running half-naked through the streets. Be a worshiper. Not like that, but be a worshiper, okay? Uh, keep your clothes on. As part of safety and security ministry, we will chuck you out that door. So just keep that in mind. If you're home, do what you do, okay? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> be a worshiper tonight, guys. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about what's going on outside of this building. This is a sanctuary. God's here, okay? So tonight, I want you to worship more than anything. Worship God for what he has done, for what he's doing, and what he is going to do. Because God is worthy of all of the worship we can offer him. Psalm 150 says, Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heaven. Praise him for his mighty works. Praise his unequaled greatness. Praise him with a blast of the ram's horn. Praise him with the lyre and harp. Praise him with the tambourine and dancing. Praise him with strings and flutes. Praise him with a clash of cymbals. Praise him with loud clanging cymbals. Let everything that breathes sing praises to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's worship.
feet of Jesus, our affection, our devotion, poured out on the feet of Jesus, our Oh 
ago Yes, I see it now I'm laying it down And I know that I need you So I want to fall I'm falling to grace I'm done with the heart I'm freezing to wait My heart finds a search My soul needs a friend So I run to the Father again and again and again and again. Hey. His arms are open wide. His arms are open wide. Fill this place, fill this place, Jesus. Fill this song, fill this song. Oh 
Praise. 
You are worthy of every breath It's your breath It's your breath In our lungs So we pour out our praise Pour out our praise It's your breath In our lungs So we
the crowns before the Lamb Oh God, and say You were worthy of it all Yes, you were worthy of it all
glory and praise, power and strength. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Glory and praise, power and strength. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Hallelujah, glory and praise, power and strength, worthy is the Lamb of God, hallelujah, in the praise is yours, in the praise is yours, you're the one we bow As we lift you up, you will reign forevermore. In the praise is yours, in the praise is yours, in the praise is yours, Jesus. You're the one we bow before. You're reigning over as we lift you up, you will reign forevermore. Joy in the song of heaven, glory and praise, power and strength. Worthy is the Lamb of God, hallelujah. Glory and praise. Power and strength, worthy is the Lamb of God, Is 
Father, we thank you for this night. We thank you for the freedom we have to gather, to sing, to praise. And Lord, our prayer is that it doesn't stop here. It doesn't stop tonight. May we take this moment with us as we finish out a week, as we finish out a month, as we uh, get closer to finishing out a year. May we always have you at the forefront of our minds and our hearts. We give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Everyone, hope you were blessed. Once you go in peace, see you next week.